With Halloween only a couple days away now, I thought I could review these three decks of playing cards that all kind of have a uh, skull or skeleton theme, I suppose. Um, this first deck we're going to look at is actually called, um, well, I'll get to the name in a sec. The, it's got like this skull design on it. It's kind of a jewel design, really. In fact, I think this deck has the weakest connection to Halloween of all three decks, but it is called the Memento Mori deck, if you're trying to find it. And the reason I say it has the weakest connection to Halloween because the skull is pretty much the only uh, spooky thing about this deck. It's, it's got this skull back design, and with this thick border, I don't know, it doesn't... I don't think it really fans out too, too uh, pretty. Um, right here, yeah, it's got this spiel about to remember your mortality, whatever. The skull is all there is to it. Murphy's magic. Uh, there's a black and white back on that card. And this is just another, I guess these would be my Joker cards. These two uh, diamond things here. But the, really, the deck is this like jewel theme, more so than having any kind of skull theme. Uh, I mean, they look nice, but um, they're not really spooky per se. Here are the spades. Now, there is some very subtle um, shading in here, like uh, like kind of like a jewel thing where it's got like these hard edges, but uh, pretty hard to tell, I guess, over the camera. Go ahead and, and fan through these. Here's the royal cards. It's the regular bicycle um, outline with this jewel coloring inside it. And then here we go with the diamonds. Again, it's a very pretty looking deck. It's just not very uh, spooky for having a skull on the outside and on the backs. Here we go with the clubs. Here's the ace. Now for the hearts. And there you go. Memento Momori. Uh, it's, it's an okay deck. Like I said, it looks nice, uh, just not uh, very spooky. Not sure why they have this uh, skull theme to it, but it is kind of like a, a jewel thing. The, the box does have like some, uh, I guess, texture to it. There you go. You can see that in the light there. There's some texture. It kind of pops out a little bit on those spots. Uh, same thing on the side and a little bit on the back. So there you go. Next we have the Grimoire deck, uh, Bicycle, um, 97A design, I guess, is also involved in the making of these cards. Let's go ahead and open this one up. Here is the back, again, a thick border, kind of makes it, I think, odd to, to fan out. I can't do that fancy uh, cardistry stuff that other people do. I don't know, they like hold it, like pinch it and like fan it out. I don't know. It doesn't, with the thick border, I don't think it really does very much for it. Uh, here you got your Joker cards with the skeletons. Um, I don't know, this one is like an intentional misprint or something? Because they've got the, the skeleton in the middle. He's just like floating up for some reason. I don't know, I don't know why. Otherwise it's the same uh, design. Here we've got a random, uh, different back. It's like it, like it would be a double back card, but it's just weird. I don't know. Used for magic tricks, nothing else. Here's an actual double back card. And then as I go through these, it looks like these are just regular old bicycle cards. But when we get to the royal cards, you see they have skulls. And they're pretty, um realistic looking skulls I'd say like they're not cartoony or anything they definitely look like they're trying to be scary you know so this deck at least has some sort of connection to uh, 
or at least it would be suitable to use on Halloween for that only reason. More so than the last deck we just looked at, I'd say. Yeah, that, that looks like a pretty spooky design. Liking it. We'll keep going through here. Here's the hearts. And they're all pretty, uh, each one of these is different Look from the looks of it. But of course, all the regular cards are just plain old regular bicycle suits in the regular order. So that's kind of a downside, but uh, at least the royal cards look uh, pretty ne neat. Uh, definitely could have improved some on the other regular numbered cards, though. And then finally, we have this Alchemy 1977 England bicycle playing cards. Now, if you look at this carefully, there's two images here. One is the skull. You got the two eyes right here and kind of a mouth. But also, if you look carefully, it is a woman facing this way. Her face is right here. She's uh, holding a rose right here with her hands. These are her shoulders and her hair coming out, if you can see both images there. It's pretty fancy optical illusion. But here is the uh, all sides of the box. Um, this is United Starts Playing Card Company. Doesn't really see anybody else. So you can look at the backs here. It is a, that, it's that box image. Just repeat it all over the backs. Here we got uh, just a regular extra skull card. Don't know what that's for, because this is a Joker, and this is another Joker. This is, this, this kind of reminds me, oh, here's a third Joker. This actually kind of reminds me of, I think there's like a Freak Show deck, and that's kind of what the vibe I'm getting from this one. But these are going to be all original pictures, I believe, and they've got the pips there as well, and they've got like background images. This would, would have scored very highly on uh, my rubric, I think. Uh, the material is uh yeah air cushion finish and i believe all three of these decks are air cushion finish i don't think there was anything cheap about any of them and i just forgot to uh, mention it i'm gonna go ahead and fan through these cards definitely have a lot more uh character to these Now that's kind of a, a repeated image, but at least it's like a black and white of the Joker card there. And again, not necessarily all these images are meant to be scary. Some of them are just like like being weird, you know? And there you have it. That is the Alchemy 1977 deck. So, which of these three would you say is best to use on Halloween? Or which deck do you just like more in general? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.